everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi, my name is Bemi Abiola. Welcome. So definitely it has been a minute since I've uploaded a video for y'all. I have been so, so, so busy. And I finally got the time to sit down and do this video for you guys. Uh, so I'm going to be giving you guys a life update where I've been, what I've been doing, um, as well as sharing with you guys what I picked up during the Sephora sale. Um, yeah, I initially didn't pick up a lot of things during the sale, but then I w went back and picked up some more stuff. So yeah, that's basically it. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. And if you are not, please stop right here. It's not worth your time and effort. All right, so tea on where I've been. Um, I got a new job. It's a federal job. It's amazing. So full benefits and everything. And I am very, very happy. Like, I was afraid because I didn't know what I was getting myself into. But everybody at the office, my bosses and my fellow co-workers have made the transition smooth. Like, very smooth. Um, I'm very eager to learn with them and to grow with them. And hopefully I will stay for a decent amount of time. Um, but everybody is just great. Um, good vibes. Everyone is courteous and kind to each other. I've already started intellectually stimulating them. Um, talking about books, talking about food, having debates with people in the office, healthy debates. Um, so it's great. Like, it's great. And it, I'm just really happy. Um, I've been there for about a month now. And yeah, I still love it. Learning something new every day. They teach me, I teach them. It's just awesome. So that's kind of the reason why I went dark for a bit. I was still posting like a bit on Instagram, but my main focus was focusing on the transition to my new job. Um, also, I got to see one of my closest friends for the first time in two and a half years. Um, she came to visit like two weeks ago. And um, another one of our friends um, goes to the university that's nearby. So the three of us were just running around. We were literally running around and it was great. And I really needed it because I haven't really seen my friends like in two and a half years, like my close friends in like two and a half years. And I really just needed that. And I was just so happy like I was so happy and I, I'm just content you know like I'm just super content that ever since like August ever since I cut my hair off like things have just been rapidly changing for me and I absolutely love it I was terrified but and now that everything has kind of calmed and settled it's been great and this actually happened the last time like I fully cut all my hair off which was almost six years ago um where I cut my hair off and I went through a really bad time but after that like small period everything just started changing like I was so much happier I feel like every time I do a big chop this is the second time so if I do a next one a third one it's like a period of rebirth and acceleration for me and I'm happy to embrace it so yeah that's that's literally me I'm really happy right now just with everything in my life and seeing my friends and my job and yeah so that's basically it now that I've kind of briefed you on where I've been I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up during the Sephora haul as well as some stuff that I got from Ulta, PMG, and other little bits and bobs I picked up slash little PR pieces that I've got. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start off with the other stuff before the Sephora stuff. So the first thing I picked up was this Pat McGrath pigment. This is the brand new Triochrome pigment, it's extra galactic. It's what's all over my eyes today. I used it with my Melt Cosmetics recently deceased palette from the Beetlejuice collection. It is so pretty. 
and it matched my sweater. So um, that's one of the first things that I picked up. It came with a little mini mixing medium and an eye gloss. I never use the eye gloss for like the dark star kits. So I just use them as regular gloss when I feel like it. So that was like the first thing. Uh, next, Artist Couture sent over the uh, Supreme Mauves palette. I did use this. Um, if you watched my last Instagram reel, this is the palette that I was using, that I had used on my eyes. It's a really gorgeous palette. Um, the plum tones are coming back in to style now and absolutely think this palette looks gorgeous. Um, there are some shades that like I'm not a huge fan of, but for the most part it is a really nice solid palette and it's a really good complementary palette to the other um supremes palette so i absolutely love this it's so pretty so yeah as you can see i've used <laughs> this lid shade um quite a bit patrick ta was so kind to send over the new dimension 2 palette major dimension 2 palette they're really cool to send this over. If you guys would like to see a video on this, please let me know. I'll do a full review video. I've worn this like maybe a couple times, two or three times. I've been really good about doing my makeup every day when I go to the office. Like normally for me, like if you see me like previously, like I would maybe wear makeup to work maybe like once every like one or two weeks previously at my last job. But now like, when I go into the office, like, I actually take the effort to, like, wake up early, do my hair, uh, do my makeup, put on, like, perfume, and, yeah, so that's basically what I've been doing, and I found that I've been going through my products a lot faster, which is great, so I wore this to work, and, um, apparently... Pink is my color. Pink has always been my color, and my coworkers had solidified that for me. And that's my favorite color too. But they're just like, you look the best in pink. So um, yeah, wore this. Um, they loved it. So, and it's a really good palette. Um, with the Patrick Ta Extra Dimension, uh, Major Dimension, not Extra Dimension. Extra Dimension is Mac. With the Major Dimension palettes, I find for me, I have the first one. It's somewhere. I don't know where it is. Um, I find that the mattes, Patrick Ta does mattes very well, but I'm not crazy about the shimmer shades at all. Like, I'm not crazy about them. Um, they're very chunky. So, like, for me, I typically find that I have to use my fingers to apply them or use a very wet brush to get what I need and so it doesn't flake off everywhere. But it's a gorgeous palette. Like, it's very pretty. Like, absolutely stunning palette. So thank you, Patrick Talk. They also sent me the eyeliners. I have no idea where I put them whatsoever. But there was a copper and a burgundy eyeliner. Super creamy, amazing eyeliners from Patrick Ta. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, next up, I ordered stuff from Melt. Y'all know I am a die-hard Melt fan. Stan. I own basically almost everything from them. All their eyeshadow palettes, yeah, I do my Melt videos, y'all already know the drill. So for Melt, I picked up two of the Slick Waterline pencils. I did not pick up the launch back when they launched in maybe like January, February. Um, I only really wanted two, so I only picked up two, and I picked up the shades uh, Cacao, Coco. Um, I only picked up two shades, so... Uh, Kale, cocoa, and caramel, and these are meant to be for your waterline use. So, uh, kale is like a very dark brown. I will probably use that as like smudging on my upper wa uh, upper lash line and just blending it out to create like a base for stuff. And then caramel, which is like a really nice caramel color eyeliner that will probably go in my waterline when I want to brighten my eyes up. Um, it reminds me of Baked, their Baked pencil. Do I have that over here? But Baked is more olive. I don't know where it is. Baked is more of an olive pencil. This is more of like a caramel color. 
Maybe I can even use this as a lip pencil. Ooh, that'd be a really pretty nude lip. I'm gonna use it as, a, as a, like a lip color. Um, but yeah, I picked these up. They're really creamy. Um, so yeah, really, really am excited to try these out. I also picked up the Gemini palettes from Mel. I already own the original Gemini palette, but they reformulated it and they brought it back. Um, I think Gemini is their most popular palette, followed by Muerte from the Amor Eterno collection. Um, but they re um, they redid the packaging as well as partnered up with Arte del Gustavo who did the Amor Eterno packaging as well as the Amore Mariposas packaging. So they part he partnered up with them again. Amazing artist. And at any of the packaging that he does, I absolutely love. So this is the brand new Gemini packaging. Um, the other Gemini packaging has, the previous one, has like roses, but they're not like this. That is weird. I don't know where my other... Uh, so that is weird. I don't know where my my original Gemini palette. It has to be somewhere in this room right now. I don't know where it is, so I have to hunt for it. Um, but yeah, this is the reformulated Gemini palette. Same color, same everything. They just brought it back and did a little bit of reformulation. So would you guys like to see an updated Gemini palette, original Gemini palette video compared to the previous one? If they still performs the same or if this one performs better, please let me know. I'll be happy to do that for you guys as well. I'm probably not going to like bust out comparison swatches because this is a previous palette and I have done a video on it. Um, but just let me know if you'd like to see on this, if you want to. Okay. Then we have Gemini 2, which I am really happy they came out with a second palette because how can you have a Gemini palette and it doesn't have its matching twin, you know? Um, so Ge the Gemini 2 palette, when I first saw the teaser packaging, the teaser, Laura and Dana were teasing on the Mel Instagram and their personal Instagram, I was like, ooh. I need to have that. So, um, it still has some of the olivey tones from the first Gemini palette, as well as some, like, pink and burgundy tones, um, which are becoming really popular again. Um, so I'm really excited to use this and try it. Um, let me know if you want a video separately from this, or if you want me to use it in tandem with the original Gemini palette. Um, just from looking in here, there is one repeat, and that is this shade right here, the middle shade, Lovesick. That was originally in the Lovesick stack. So that's the only double that I can see, visibly see in here. Um, all the other shades are new, which I'm really excited for. Um, so yeah, uh, let me know if you want to see a video on that with comparisons and the likes. So that's everything from Melt. I was at TJ Maxx the other day and I was just browsing, as I do, and I picked up this set, which is from Innisfree. It's a Korean skincare brand. This was brand new. I've used it already. I just stuck it back in the box for y'all to show you, but Innisfree. I love their skincare. So in this set, it comes with a toner, an emulsion, a serum, and a foam cleanser. So this is what they look like um, in the box. This cleanser is amazing. I've been using it for a few days now, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Um, the serum is amazing. The toner is great. Um, and the emulsion, I'm not a fan of the scent of the emulsion, but it's nice. Um, Ever since I started using this, like, I felt like my face holds hydration better. And my makeup has been looking better when I started using it. So next up, we have the Pat McGrath Bridgerton 2 collection. So I picked up the eyeshadow palette, the coal pencil, and two lipsticks. Venusian Peach and Negligee, as well as the blush palette. Um, I already know what y'all are going to say. That's the blush palette. Um, you want a video. So a video is coming for this collection. 
please hang tight. I did not forget. Um, I've got to do my swatches and my pictures and actually sit and film the video for y'all. So that's coming. So that's the blush palette. Um, and then here are the lipsticks. So this is Venusian Peach. I love a good peach lipstick. Love a good peach. It's close to the lip color I'm wearing today. But um, it's really gorgeous. Love this color. And then um, the other shade is called Negligee, which is more of a rosy color. Really, really pretty. I just basically picked it up for the packaging because I really thought the bow was cute. Um, so those are those. There were like, I think, five or six other lipstick colors. Um, I wasn't interested in, in those. And then they have the Cold Pencil, which... Um, if you've been using Pat for a very long time, this is not her first cold pencil. She ha she came out with the cold pencil and the Dark Star kit, like the very first one from a few years ago. So, um, I'm glad that she brought the cold pencil back. And, and then here's the palette. So this is the palette. It is giving similar vibes to the first one. And don't worry, I will talk about that in my video, um, as well as some shades from her other palettes. So, hang tight. The comparison video is coming. Also, this took forever to come. This, I just, it took forever to come. I waited almost a month to get this in the mail. Like, it took forever to come. Like, I didn't finally, I didn't get the last piece, which was the eyeliner, until, like, Monday. So... Um, that's why I hadn't posted it, so, yeah, but I will, like I said, that video is coming, we'll be doing my swatches, my pictures, everything, hopefully this weekend. Um, some skincare, I got some skincare PR, um, Ren Skincare sent over their new support barrier elixir, I use this as like a final seal to seal in the moisture at nighttime, even though I have oily skin, um, I feel like because it has been so cold, the weather has been fluctuating so much here that my skin has been drying out horribly. Like, I will have to basically slug my face with this after I do my full skincare routine just for the moisture just to hold. Um, so, yeah, I absolutely love this. This is like the final step in my makeup routine. I've used quite a bit of it already, but I'm absolutely obsessed. And then Sunday Riley sent over the Afterglow Brightening Vitamin C Cream. I use this at night and this has been helping with my skin just to brighten up as well as to fade my hyperpigmentation quite a bit. And I use it paired with the Pharmacy Waterless Vitamin C Serum. Vitamin C is great if you need to brighten and fade stuff. Of course, I wear my sunscreen. I always make sure I wear sunscreen and reapply every single day. Um, but these have been helping a lot with my hyperpigmentation and just brightening up and making my face look a lot lively. So I'm absolutely obsessed with these, like this combination. It's great. This is what it looks like. The It's like yellow. It looks like turmeric, but I've used a decent amount of it already. Absolutely love 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 these together um i picked up some stuff from ulta um when um alina was in town um my friend alina was in town um two weeks ago um she and she myself and our friend arena we went to ulta um because we were looking for the ordinary right um and they didn't have some of the things that we wanted at Sephora, so we just went to Ulta. So I picked up another one of the glycolic acid toning solution. I don't use this on my face, I use this primarily on my armpits, and this has been fading my armpits, and I absolutely love it, and I feel like I don't sweat, or I, I, and I don't stink when I use this underneath my armpits, paired with, I just throw deodorant on there, um, but this is absolutely amazing for the underarms. Um, I also picked up uh, another organic cold pressed road, rose hip seed oil. I love this oil. Um, I had it 
and then I accidentally poured it away. I accidentally knocked it over and it spilled everywhere. So I just picked up another one. And then I picked up the Good Molecules Caffeine Energizing Hydrogel Eye Patches. Um, because of the change with my new job and everything, um, my body is like trying to uh, rebalance itself. So I have not been getting the best sleep but this helps with the puffiness and I'm absolutely obsessed with them. So I try to use them um, every morning when I wake up. I maybe keep them on for maybe like five, 10 minutes and then I take them off. Um, but it, this has been helping with the puffiness underneath my eyes and just gives me a little wake up. Um, and then this is from Essence. This is the Hello Good Stuff uh, Chica Face Cream. Alina put me on to this, um, she said she saw it on TikTok, and that was basically the primary reason, besides the ordinary stuff, that we went to Ulta, so, um, I picked this up, and it's a face cream, so I'm really excited to try it, I think this was maybe like six, five, six bucks, so I'm really excited to try this out, and see what the hype about it is, like, on TikTok and whatnot, so, yeah, that's it. Oh, also, Urban K was great to send over the new Vitamin C Cactus Flower Water All Nighter Spray. This stuff is crazy good. Completely recommend it. Like, it is absolutely amazing. I use it today and my makeup looks great. Hello. Like, it looks absolutely amazing. So, yeah, this is a rival for the Charlotte Tilbury one for me personally. But Charlotte Tilbury beats this out just by a little bit. So, but yeah, this is absolutely great too. And now, we're gonna get into the Sephora haul. So, um, by the way, this is actually a legit Sephora bag. I take this with me when I go in store so that they don't have to use the paper bags. And also, um, I was told whenever you use this, you get 10 bonus points. So, I have two of them, so I keep them in my car for whenever I go to Sephora. Um, the first thing I got from Sephora was the Skincare Essentials Kit, which has, uh, a moisturizing cream, glow peel pads, and the, um, gel, clean skin gel moisturizer, uh, not moisturizer, face wash. This face wash is amazing. They have several different versions of it. This is the one with the amino acid, um, I have tried the one with the probiotic, which I picked up another one. Um, so, really, really like that. I want to see how this one works, but I've tried this one, which is the probiotic one. This is so gentle, and it gets your face very, very clean. Um, I have used this after I double cleaned, and it just removes all the any all the remaining makeup that's on my face hiding somewhere. These are really, really good. I'm really excited to try the glow peel pads and the moisturizer. I've heard really good things about this moisturizer, so I'm really excited. So this is only like $14 because Sephora Collection was 20 to 30% off during the sale. So that's why I picked these up since I really like them. So that was a really good deal. And then um, I got the Skin Fix 2% BHA Cleanser to clear acne. This stuff is insane. I ha I got this before the sale just to try and this helped so much with like right under here on my neck. I tend to get a lot of ingrowns here and as a result because I get ingrowns I have hyperpigmentation and um this just helps clear all that like dead skin over like the ingrown so I don't get ingrowns this paired with the polish choice um the polish choice um where is it this the 2HA BH the 2% BHA liquid exfoliant these two together if you have a lot of ingrowns slash facial hair these will help like remove that dead skin and like keep you from getting ingrowns like I absolutely love this combination this has helped with my acne 
because like right before I started the new job I started breaking out so bad and this helped clear it up right before I started so absolutely love 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 this and of course I picked up another one of this I still have my eight ounce one that I've been working on since the last Sephora sale so um I just picked up another one for when that runs out um again if you have not tried this this is great I also use this in tandem with the um ordinary glycolic toner underneath my armpit just to prevent like any ingrowns on underneath my arms and it works so I picked up a, another clean reserve skin perfume Andrea Renee put me on to this um, back in 2020 and I just finished my bottle so the Sephora sale was great um, so I actually got the Sephora favorite set that had the voucher in it so I just bought that and then traded in the voucher for this if you need a good clean musk scent that you can wear to the office you can wear to places where they're very sensitive to fragrance um this is great because with this when i use this people just tell me i smell clean i smell like i just freshly showered um like and it's not super like potent to the point that people will get headaches so you'll really like this if you're looking for like a good soft skin scent skin must scent you'll really really like this so i completely recommend this I actually picked up so I picked up another Beauty Blender Solid Charcoal Cleanser. I actually picked up two of them. I opened one and I washed a bunch of brushes with it. This is like my favorite favorite brush cleanser ever. So I picked up two during the sale. Um, it's the charcoal cleanser, like the big one. So um, if you need something to clean your sp brushes, your sponges, um, and will get everything out, this is great. Skincare, I picked up um, some inky list stuff. I picked up their hyaluronic acid serum. So I use hyaluronic acid serum. Um, it's one of the main steps in my routine. Um, just to make sure my skin stays hydrated throughout the day. So I use that after I wash my face and tone. I'll use this and I'll usually layer another serum. For example, the Innisfree serum. I'll usually layer that over this one just to make sure I have hydration in my skin before I start moisturizing and that moisture stays in my face. I also picked up the retinol eye cream because the girl is cracking a little bit around the eyes so I needed another eye cream because mine is getting low so I grabbed this. Um, I picked up two perfumes i actually picked this up like the week before my new job um well uh alta had their like 21 days of beauty sale um so i got the flower bomb uh ruby orchid i used my points and they had like five times points so i picked that up really really love this if you don't like the original flower bomb um you'll like this it's not as sweet as the original one and this one i feel like is more like office appropriate daytime appropriate so you'll really really like this one and then i also during the sale i picked up uh, a new bottle of the original flower bomb um because uh i ran out of mine i finished my bottle and um i wasn't gonna pick this up again but then i started missing it severely like every time i would wear it, i felt like I would get a lot of compliments but I wasn't taking it seriously and it, it didn't like I didn't know if I liked it or not but then I started missing it and then I was like yeah that means I like it if I'm missing it so I picked up a new bottle I picked up the 5.1 ounce bottle so the big bottle the biggest bottle this is the 3.4 ounce in this so you can see this visible size difference and I've used quite a bit of it already so this I absolutely love it if you don't have flower bomb it's a really really good scent um like everyone that i know who has tried flower bomb likes it like it's not a fragrance that you'll dislike like it works for everybody so powders i said during the last sephora sale i was not going to pick up any more powders but i did so i picked up uh two more shades of the huda beauty um powders 
the Easy Bake powders. I got Blondie and Banana Bread. My friend Bisola was like, you need to try these together, this combination together. So I was like, all right, let me grab them. And I did. And this combo is amazing, especially with the NARS uh, Sheer Glow Foundation, baby obsessed so i picked up this this one is more of a neutral color it's not really pink and this one has like that tint of yellow in there um so it like really helps to balance my face so absolutely obsessed with these i also have um kunafa which is like a strong yellow so i actually may use banana bread mixed with kunafa just to kind of get the same effect as blondie so um yeah so absolutely obsessed bizarre also told me to pick up NARS Sheer Glow, so I picked up Sheer Glow. This is in the shade Iguazu, and this is like the best match for me. In this formula, this is the best foundation match out of all of the NARS foundations that I have. I have all of them. I have um, Light Reflecting, I have Sheer Glow, I have Soft Matte, uh, Sheer Glow, as well as Light Natural Radiant, but this one is like the most accurate match out of all of them, and I really love it. I wore it to work last week or was the week before i wore it and i was obsessed my skin looked so nice my skin was banging and i was obsessed so sheer glow i should have owned this a long time ago and i hadn't so yeah so i picked it up i also bought the pump separately because i was not going to be pouring stuff out i just figured i just spend the extra money just to pick up the pump um to be honest this should have the pump already in it i don't know why nars hasn't read on the packaging and built the pump into it uh but they need to do that asap because nobody wants to be spending money on a separate pump because the um natural radiant has a pump the um the light reflecting has a pump so why doesn't this questions in terms of other foundations i picked up the dior face and body foundation in 8n i have the face and body powder obsessed with that powder so i'm really excited to try this out i have tried a sample of it out before and i really really liked it um so i'm really excited to try this out like with an actual bottle not an open bottle um so yeah really excited for that I picked up the um, Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer. I'm in the shade 52W. Um, if you know my experience with the Rare Beauty Foundation, I was not crazy about it because it, it burned me. Like, it, that foundation burned my face. Like, I could not wear makeup for two to three weeks because it burned my face and I needed to heal. So I picked up the um tinted moisturizer i just want to see what this is like um i'll probably use it tomorrow to see if i like it or not let me know if you guys would want a wear test on it i can do that for you if i pick that up hopefully that this does not burn me like the foundation did because if it does i'm gonna riot because that was horrible my face was so sensitive and it was peeling so yeah um then I picked up the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Foundation. I have tried this foundation out in the, the primer. This is a Glow Serum Primer. I picked up the, the primer in Juicy Boost, which is that like, um, it's a kind of like bronzy color. When I first saw this in store and I swatched it, I was like, oh, that's going to be sticky. It's not sticky. It's very watery and it absorbs very quickly so that is the primer so i'm interested um in like actually doing like a week-long test because i when i wore this i wore this when i was on a day i was working from home so um i gotta see how that works and actually like me going outside the house going to work the office setting walking to go at lunch like different environments you know so i'll probably do that like this week no next week most likely i can do that next week um and just like let you guys know how i feel and then i also picked up the foundation in 22n so when i went to sephora 
and I swatched the foundation out. Um, I was not too sure which shade I was going to be, but I had narrowed it down to two shades, 21N and 22N. So I ended up picking up 22N. And it's a pretty good match. I feel like I could get away with using 21N um, too. So like I have two matches, I guess, in the foundation. But I think I'm pretty content with this one, 22N. Um, so yeah, but I have tried this out, but I will do a formal wear test of this <laughs> for you guys, I promise. Another Dyn Danessa Myricks product, I picked up the Balm Contour in Deep 3. Um, yeah, I just wanted to try something new, and I've been hearing a lot of good things about the Balm Contours. Um, so yeah, Ooh, gotta push that. So I picked up Deep 3. So that's it right there. And it can be sheared out. Maybe I should have... I was going to get two, but I felt like it was really red. And it was looking more like a bronzer on me. Like, compared to like the Danessa Cream Bronzer, the Deep Cream Bronzer. It was getting into that territory of being warm. So I just completely just bypassed it and went for three. I think three will work very, very well. And then I picked up two more of the Sephora lip pencils and molasses. Love this lip pencil. Like I said, since I've been doing my makeup almost every day, my stuff has been running out very quickly. So I'm really happy to have picked up two more of these. And then um, I picked up another one of the Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. If you have not tried this setting spray, it is absolutely amazing. Completely recommend it. Um, so it actually sold out in store during the sale. And so many people were looking for it. And I went into the store, into Sephora, maybe like two or three times. And people were looking for it. So um, I was telling people, I'm like, go to the Sephora inside Kohl's. Because nobody was checking there for the sale. Like, everybody was coming to the big freestanding Sephora. I'm like, if you go to the Kohl's Sephora they basically have like the airbrush flawless setting spray in stock so a lot of people were really happy because they're just like i want the setting spray i want to use my disc i want my discount on it. i'm like go to the sephora inside kohl's they usually have everything that the freestanding store doesn't and with like my area the sephora inside jc pennies are like clearing out like they're reducing like everything because like sephora's contract with them is ending shortly so if you're looking for popular things that you can't find in the sephora store go to the sephora inside kohl's they'll most likely have it um and then um andrea renee also re recommended this to me a long time ago and i remembered this during the sale um this is the summer fridays lip butter balm and i picked up the shade which shade uh vanilla beige so there were two shades i think there was just regular plain vanilla which was clear and vanilla beige which is this shade and it's a vegan so if you're vegan and you need a good lip balm this is for you so yeah she was like i completely recommend it if you need a good lip balm it's tinted it'll hydrate your lips so that's the color if i can show you guys so that's the color of it and it smells like vanilla so um, i'm really excited to keep this in my purse love a good lip balm so um yeah i'm really excited to use this and have that as a daily driver for me in my purse so yeah that's everything that i picked up during the sale as well as a mini life update for me um thank you guys all for watching let me know what you guys picked up during the sale if you picked up anything um that i picked up um, if you guys would like to see um, foundation wear tests from me, um, the pat review, let me know what you guys would like to see. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Um, make sure you follow me on my social media. Instagram is bemzabiola. Twitter is bemzabiola. TikTok is at bemzabiola. That's where you can find me. 
And yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I hope to see you very, very soon. Bye guys.